okay now let's begin so at first go to your services and look for elastic beanstalk click on it now you will be redirected to that screen in what you will see all your environments so if you remember from part one this is the environment we created using the aws toolkit like this so for this demo again i'll make use of the same web application that is just a default application with default weather forecast controller if i run the application you can see the output here right now it's with localhost once our environment is created soon we will see with a public url let's focus to demo once again so click on create new environment now what environment you want web server one or worker environment so worker is something which gonna run in the background but we want to deploy our web application so i'm going to select web server environment the next you need to provide your application name so maybe i can provide elastic beanstalk demo right then you may go for the application text i'm not going for this time the environment which will be derived from this name let it default if you want to give your uh, different domain name then maybe you can enter no name here and then you need to check the availability just because it should be unique then you need to select your platform that way do you want to deploy your application that is based on depending on your type of your application so for me it's a dotnet core application based on version 3.1 so for that at first i need to select dotnet on windows server then second from this drop down i need to select 64 bit windows server core 2019 after that the recommended one recommended version 2.5.10 i'll go with that then it says do you want to deploy with the sample application or do you have your code so we will deploy using our custom code so at first we need to build our code let me stop the application so we'll do these steps one by one the first step is you need to build your application thereafter you need to publish your application at local so right click on it click on publish click on folder click on next provide the path where you want to deploy your application maybe published application anything and click on finish click on publish now build started it will at first build and thereafter it will publish our code or artifacts in the desired location whatever whatever we have selected so in that case it should create a folder here we have folder here and it says publish succeeded so let's see what we have so this is our data which we'll deploy so first thing select control a you need to be really care careful now with these steps when i say select all that means we need to select all to zip the file send to compress zip and you can name it anything so maybe site this time i am going to name it you can name it anything so when i said you need to be very very careful that means you need to select all and do the zip you never do a zip of this folder right so now copy this site file and let's create another folder maybe demo paste your zip file here now for elastic beanstalk there is one more file you need to create so we'll see what this file is basically this is the file which at first would be would be read by uh, elastic beanstalk and in the file it will look for the code that where should i go so if i right click on this or maybe i can open this in visual studio okay so what it says here is a name you can name it anything site demo 
then it says look for the bundle which is named of site.zip so we have seen that we have site.zip where i should look i should be looking at the root if you have another folders then you need to provide the exact path here but this time since it is on the root one so just the site.zip and let other things be default so these are the just two things which you need to bind together again right click on this and zip these two files demo to be published right again notice i have selected these two and zip the files not this demo one that's really important because at first when elastic beanstalk read this it should it would look for this aws windows deployment main fist and after that it will search for the path and as for the path it will take the file so let's copy the path and provide our path here choose file provide the path demo to be published now further if you need to configure more options we'll see just at first it let it upload if you need to configure further option that which type of machine do you want do you want the you know a uh, logs to be enabled do you want uh, further health to be enabled and do you want a load balancer as well so all this configuration you can do from here but as of now i'm going to focus on a basic one so i'll just click on this create environment so similarly as in the part one we have seen that it takes around five minutes so meanwhile i'll pause the demo once the logs will be completed or the deployment is completed i'll resume that okay so it has deployed our environment i have refreshed because it was taking too much time so we can see it has deployed successfully now if i go to the environments now here you would see we have our third environment created elastic beanstalk demo one so this is with what we created now if you click on the url so here our application is deployed and look for the here we have weather forecast it should give us the data um, let me take a name correctly maybe any spelling issue let's make it as it is okay we have the data nice so further uh i would like to showcase one more thing click on the environment now let's suppose you make any change and you want to redeploy the application so let's suppose you have this application and just remove the content any any modification what you have done in the application coding book so what you need to do again follow the same steps build your application and thereafter publish your application so before you public your uh, publish your application make sure you delete everything although you can configure this in the setting in the publish setting as well that delete everything before they publish so as of now i manually deleted that i'm going to publish this once again let it publish first okay publish succeeded just copy the code right click press this copy your site file go to your uh, demo folder just remove this demo to be published remove this site paste it here again copy and zip both of them demo to be published second right and what we have inside that we have the site and the AWS. now go to environment click on upload and deploy choose your file provide the path click on deploy so unable to okay i have clicked two times that's why we got that error now it is again redeploying and if you want to see the events you can see that what is happening but again it will take some time i'll pause for a minute okay so it has redeployed our environment we have again status to green now let's 
or before we click on this let's click on the environment at first and here we'll have this application versions so as many as application version you deploy this always keeps the version and at any point of time you can deploy that version so as of now we have uploaded this second zip right so this is our latest code which is deployed or deployed so further if you want to deploy your previous versions at any time you can click on that and click on this deploy your that version would be deployed now let's go back to our environment and see do we have our updated code with us click on the url once again and provide the proper url and we have this updated data so that's all as a part of this one